time for another take and make and today we're going to make these cool little paper animal dolls. Um, so in your bag, which you maybe sent a grown up for, you're going to start with something that looks just like this. Okay, it's just the basic outline of a body, a head, and four legs. And I imagine that these, these two back here are for the back legs, but it really doesn't matter. You can change it. So I created a few different things so you can decide what kind of animal you'd like to make. So with this shape, you could make a cat. That's kind of maybe the easiest one. Okay. And then as you see, we're gonna color it in and then we're gonna use these things which are called brads or paper fasteners. So then you can like move his little legs or her little legs. And then we're just gonna glue the head on. But I want to give you a few examples. So that was a cat. This is a bear, almost exactly the same thing. I just did like a circle for his like snout. And over here I made the tail shorter because bears just don't have long tails. And then I started this third one, and this one's a fox. And I added like a little wispy hair, and I drew like down here for the nose. So there's lots of stuff that you can do with just this plain starter um, shapes, okay? So what you're gonna do is, I found it a lot easier. I tried it both ways of, um, coloring something in like this or coloring something in once it's cut out and I found this to be much easier. So I think you should decide your animal and then draw it and color or use markers or whatever while it's still all in one piece. Then what we're going to do is we're going to cut it out and I'm going to start with the body and I'm going to show you how the legs go on. Like I said, the head is just going to be pasted on with like a glue stick. So let's cut out body and you'll also notice I'll show this again in a second that I put a few little dots on the shape of your animal and those are where we're gonna poke some holes and we probably are gonna need adult help with that because I'm an adult and I still end up poking myself all the time so cut out this little shape and here we have the body, right? And then there's two dots down here, and that's where we're gonna put the legs. So, let's see, I will do the front legs. I'm gonna cut those out quick. They're just kind of big ovals. So again, I tried a few different things, poking the holes. Really, ask for help with this. You can cut through a little with scissors. It's, it's hard, but that's one way. Uh, I tried poking a hole with a super hard, uh, a sharp pencil or pen, maybe. You could do that. I also just took like a paper kit clip and I like folded one end out and then I took my piece of paper and I put my fingers kind of between the hole and I just kind of slowly poked a hole through. And then these are what we call brads or paper fasteners. I'm gonna just quickly make more holes in this one and then in this one right where the dots were okay and then the way we're gonna put them on is we're gonna take the little brad we're gonna put one leg on first okay so you're gonna slide that through the hole you made this will probably make it a little bigger then we're gonna put it through the body part and then we're gonna put on the other leg. Okay, and then it sticks out in the back like that. And you just fold it down and that holds it on. 
So those are his front legs. And you're gonna do the same thing with the back legs. And like I said, then you just glue the head on and you'll have a cool little animal of which you've decided and you can make any kind of animal really. You can turn it into a dog, whatever. <laughs> so, okay, so once you make your cool animal, um, I would love to see a picture. We love seeing your pictures. We've got that cool kids art gallery. You can check out a bunch of cool stuff that kids have, have made and send pictures in. Um, you can send it to our email address at norchild at minlib.net. Um, and have fun, and I will see you guys next week. Bye.